What's up guys, this is James the First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Psy 3 Honor Among Thieves. Last time we saved Jean King and got the Panda King on our side to help us with, do, with breaking into that safe. And today we're going to be doing a new episode, Dead Man Tale No Tales. Looks piratey! Alright, let's start. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. That Bentley, always thinking. Alright, can we buy anything? No, we cannot. Everything's up to like a thousand now. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna play a Sly since that's the only thing we can do. And we're at the Caribbean Sea. Our mission's over there now. This? And is living here in town. I'll mark his place with a waypoint. Alright, now before we actually go there, I want to say this place. If you're having trouble like getting money and all that, and you just want to grind, uh, want to grind some money to get the last few moves in the game, since we're nearing the end of this game, uh, almost likely this slide three doesn't have as many missions as I thought I beat him. Slide three doesn't have any much as episodes as. Um, Sly 2, it's it's longer than Sly 1, but shorter than Sly 2. That's what I'm trying to say here, with Sly 4 being the longest game out of the bunch. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. But, this place, if I could actually find a enemy that has treasure. Like their pirate nature. Every guard in here has the best loot in the game. Like, period. Like, like I said, if you want to grind out to get the last cup on, no! You stupid dog! You were supposed to go away so I could actually get this guy's treasure. But the treasure these uh, pirates have are worth a lot of money. Like, even a medium... Remember how medium treasures that we got uh, in past episodes were like 70 or 80? You could get them for 100 nowadays, come on! Sly, what are you doing? Oh, will I ever get a treasure from them? Probably not. Alright. Let's wait till they... Okay, good. And there we go. Look, a large diamond for almost 150. Yeah, if you need to, if you need to get the last few moves of the game... Which we still have a ways to go regarding moves. I'm going to try and get two for every episode, two or three. So I'll be grinding a lot of coins off screen. But if you, this is the place, the best area to go to. Even now that moves are going to be getting to uh, a, a thousand gold. Alright, let's just not dwaddle any further and go to our mission. 
the taco pirates yo ho ho and a bottle of this all right i don't know where i got that from all right let's get over there with the little chihuahua yeah all the guards are dogs if you couldn't tell which is weird since our main enemy is a bird all right get rid of you there he is black spot pete i didn't think pirates could get that old thought scurvy would get him or something don't lower your guard for an instant all pirates are killers plain as that and they don't trust outsiders at all how's your pirate accent Arr, i forgot me number two pencil for the scantron test joke all you want but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust all right it's actually oh wait do we have no Okay, I messed up a move, but let's go to him. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I, but I will chat with the likes of you, are so blessed a subject. Get out of me sight, land lover. All my years, I only spoke of the good and kindness with me fun. Can't tank on a stem. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, old lover. I'm corking with me cutlass. Hard on the tonsils, I assure you. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Snow Jake has All right. a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. What? Be that monkeys? Ha ha! I've got you now! A cursed dirty primates! All right, come here. What? Get him under there. Tricky monkeys. Nice work. I've already got a bead on the second lieutenant. He's in motion near the overturned boat. Alright, this place is really big. Like, it's the biggest area in the game. Fitting how it's the final area. I don't want... I'm not trying to spoil anything. Well, I kind of am, but... Yeah, we're nearing the end game because, um... While the completion, uh... Uh, percentage says different. Doing the Master Chief challenges will be higher. And you know how Sly is with his completion status. I was hoping there'd be a treasure here, but not too shabby. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. All right. Looks like we gotta get him out of the way. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the uh, the Carmelita part, or not Carmelita? But the Contessa. 
if you remember that part from slide two. Oh shoot. You saw me. No, run away. It's weird how a little chihuahua is that big. Same size as me. And he's gone. Good. Thought we almost had it, but it's alright. Just wait till he's asleep. And yes, we definitely got the peg life. <laughs> You've just got one lieutenant left. Twitchy Neb. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenants, and he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. Alright, which crow's next exactly? Where are you, little twitchy twitch? I can barely even see up here. Uh, get up here. Oh, we got a better angle on things. Oh, we can't actually see him. Alright, oh, there it is. All the way over here. Yeah, there's a lot of area to this place. Be fitting for pirates. Get all their loot. And we're actually almost on our way to another move. Pretty awesome. Alright. Let's get up here. Do you guys have gold? Well, this guy does. Get it. <laughs> See, look at that. Yeah, the gold here is awesome. Alright. Let's get up here. And Twitchy's supposed to be up here. Keep your wits about your net. Stay sharp. Sharp as an axe. Sharp. Ah! Oh, I know it. It's true. An Asian of Thames come for revenge. Chase him down. He's got Tim's hat. All right, let's capture him. Come here. Hey. I need that hat, boy. Boy. All right, get you. Just attack him. Oh, he's stuck. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, hello. Alright, let's, let's let him come out. Come on. Do we have anything on R2? Oh, a combat dodge, alright. Let's, uh... Get you on. Oh my god, he's stuck. There we go. Alright, let's get his... We could get his loot. Oh my god. Alright. Let's, uh... He's really stuck. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Come on. What is it with me and getting this game glitched out? Alright. I can't even get him. That's the thing. Are you, are you serious, game? Okay, there we go. Finally. He gets out. Jesus. That took forever. Alright, how long do we have to... Alright. Come here, you landlubber. Or you sea... Sea dog. Oh, crap. Yeah, he has traps here. Just be careful. You know where there are. Hey, come here. Oh, come on. Take me. All right, let's try this again. That was dumb. <laughs> come here. Do we just have to keep chasing him? Because this is kind of ridiculous. All right, come here. Do not get stuck on it. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was about scared for a second there. All right, let's get up here. Just keep dodging him. And yeah, it looks like we just got chase him for a little while. Can't believe I fell for that trap again. All right, dodge you. And there's a boat here, I'm pretty sure. Yes, there is. You won't take me. 
and anchor. Hey, come here, boy. All right, get up here. He's all the way up there. Come on, where's he going? Where'd he go? Okay, nice. What's your skylock you, you pups? Come on, how long is this gonna take? there you've got me with me back to the sea I yield I just wanted your hat me hat that's what this be about take the moldy cut a cloth and away with you all right you've got the full container Alright, now that we finally got the full set, can't believe it took that forever. Alright, let's just get on here. Treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon face toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Alright, let's say, uh, donkey ear. Puss face piece of filth. You're a donkey eared, puss faced piece of filth. That'd be true enough, but you're a bleeding, seaweed slurping cabin boy. Alright, that's a uh, idiotic, barnacle backed, uh, anchor head? You are a idiotic barnacle bat anchor head. Ha ha ha! But me thinks you're a pig breathed duck billed swabber. Alright, let's say, uh, marooned client yellow belly cow pie. What the heck? You're a marooned yellow bellied cow pie. Ah, you swear like a child, you're a parrot-loving, clam-tongued whale fart. Alright, that's a cheap-brained... ...grog-abusing waste. Oh my god. You're a cheap-brained, grog-abusing bag of vomit. That'd be true enough, but you're a blathering, cross-eyed... Waste of skin. Alright. Pinhead. Knuckle dragon. Sack of maggots. Oh, really? You're a pinheaded knuckle dragon. Sack of maggots. Haha, <laughs> cantankerous Tim, it must be you to give this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Remain Lousteau fella. Was a good haul, that. Uh, speak of it while drunk. Oh, <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. 
Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer. No. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man of the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map and your death as well. If you go for the treasure shipmate, you go alone. Missy Ferranti is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. Thanks to Black Spot Pete, we've got a lead on Ruggie Lou Stowe's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of the cutthroats. First, Burry and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off many ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one can stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafouille's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. Alright, I know this went on longer than expected, but hey, it's a first mission. What are you gonna do? What should we buy before we end things off? Let's buy... Actually, you know what? I'll save the buying for next episode when I've got some more money. Next time on Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. After Pirate Operation Day 1, we do more on this operation, alright? We have some missions ahead of us, you mighties. I will stop doing this pirate accent, alright? See you guys then.